District Attorney Dick Gamak is busy these days, packing up his office and getting ready for retirement. He leaves office in January with his service in Northern Nevada spanning 40 years and his last two decades serving as Washoe County's District Attorney. Jeff Martinez sat down with the outgoing District Attorney and has his story. It's time for me to go. I'm fully resolved with that. There are things I'm going to miss. There's no question. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good things we've been able to do. That was from the DA's and Nevada Prosecutor Advisory Council. As District Attorney Dick Gamak packs up his office, he reflects on all of the plaques and awards received over the past 20 years, like this career of special recognition from the Nevada Supreme Court. I've been fortunate enough to have actually changed our law three times on cases I took in and fought for what I thought was right and the Supreme Court agreed with me. And, and that's, that's kind of a badge for me. Gamak has overseen the prosecution of several high profile cases in Reno. Back in 2006, Darren Mack killed his wife and shot family court judge Chuck Weller. Gamak helped locate Mack hiding out in Mexico and helped get him back to Reno where he was prosecuted. We got him back and no one else was hurt. That was the, that was the whole purpose of the whole thing. Get him back here without anybody else getting hurt, especially the people he had threatened. Another big case was the 2008 murder of Brianna Dennison, a college student kidnapped from her home and later found raped and murdered. James Bela was convicted and sentenced to death, something Gamak says took teamwork. When I say me, this, none of this has been just me. It's been uh, a lot of teamwork, a lot of work with the other law enforcement agencies. Gamak was also the driving force behind building the new Mills B. Lane Justice Center, bringing all the departments together under one roof. Gamak says his plate is full after retirement, focusing on his work with the Boys and Girls Club, Rotary, and the Child Advocacy Center. I got to look at the list to even see what all I'm still involved in, but it's gonna, I'm going to be busy. Covering the story, Jeff Martinez, Channel 2 News. I'm sure he'll make time for Disneyland. Gamak says everyone is invited to his retirement party on Saturday, January 3rd at the Boys and Girls Club on 1300 Foster Drive from 4 to 9 p.m. There will be food, drinks, and lots of memories.